What is going on all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and join me today for an advanced look at the Absolute Carnage Omnibus from Marvel Comics. So please stay tuned. And welcome back everybody. Now before I go any further, I want to give a huge thank you to David Gabriel and the fine folks at Marvel for sending us an advanced copy of this omnibus. This omnibus is due out in the direct market on September 23rd. I know there's been a lot of questions about that because I've had a lot of you all message me about when this is coming out. Well, the direct market is coming out on September 23rd. So let's look at it under this dust jacket. As you can see, it's this splash page image from the artist Ryan Stegman, but also the colors by Frank Martin, which I'll talk about and you'll see here when I look at the book. Let's open this up and talk about what Absolute Carnage is about a little bit. You have red bookend pages here. It's great. Absolute Carnage. And you have Absolute Carnage, the credits. So you have who wrote, who drew all these miniseries, and of course the main event, the issues of Venom and Amazing Spider-Man. By the way, the issues collected in here are laid out in this format. So you have Absolute Carnage 1 through 5 at first, and then followed up by Venom 16 through 20, Amazing Spider-Man 29 through 31, then you have the miniseries and one-shots. But before we go any further, just giving credit where credit is due, these are the wonderful folks from the Collected Editions Department that put this book together. You have Jennifer Grumwald, Maya Loy, Lisa Montalbano, Mark Beasley, Jeff Youngquist, Adam Del Rey, David Gabriel, of course. And as always, when I do these overviews, I do stay away from spoilers. I'll probably be talking about this book later on, though. If you want to hear my thoughts, Thoughts. That'll probably be in a couple of weeks to talk about the main story. So really briefly, oh, by the way, for all those people that have been asking me, does this contain the free comic book day 2019? It does. So it kicks off with a free comic book day, and I gotta be really careful flipping through here, because there are some cameos. And let's just get to the final page here. Okay. So what is this about? What what, what is Absolute Carnage about? Is Carnage back being Cletus Cassidy? Yes, he is. As a matter of fact, Cletus Cassidy has been resurrected and he is bonded again with the symbiote. So he is going as Carnage. He is trying to become a god. And Donny Cates started the storyline in the pages of Venom. So it's kind of spinning out of his Venom comics and building on that. So we are introducing the pages of Venom to the idea of this character named Null. And I'm not going to tell you who exactly he is or what he is, but he has ties to not just Venom, but all of the symbiotes. And Carnage, recently resurrected, is now trying to become this god, this symbiote god. And how is he doing that? Well, what Donny Cates introduced was the idea that any symbiote that had ever bonded to a human being or to any being across the galaxies left a DNA stamp on that being. And this is known as the Codex. So, in order to get this Codex out of said being, Cletus Cassidy, Carnage, rips out their spine. So it is gruesome and awesome in that way. It is a very violent book. But man, it's so good. It's a five-issue event and that leads Venom and Spider-Man teaming up again. It's not like they haven't done that before, right? They've teamed up, as a matter of fact, in issue 361, which is Carnage's first appearance. Spider-Man set aside his grudges with Venom to team up to take down this more creepy symbiote, and that is Carnage. I've always, I've, I've always loved Carnage. I know everybody loves Venom, but for me, Carnage was my symbiote. Well, I guess there wasn't really a symbiote besides Venom at the time. But anyway, as soon as Carnage appeared, yes. All day. Every day. So that's pretty much it. But this event kind of grew out of Venom. It kind of became a big Marvel event because the Avengers were involved. Then you had Miles Morales, the Lethal Protectors, which were like the heroes for hire. And we'll look at those here in a second. And pretty much just about every person that has donned the symbiote costume at one time, whether it was Venom, whether it was Scream, or Carnage itself, does make some kind of appearance or cameo in this. And the story does wrap up within these pages. However, all of it is leading into The King in Black later on this year from Marvel. So I can't wait for that event. And then that event will be collected. Who else is excited? I know I'm not the only one. So I'm probably going to be asked, what is good to read before starting Absolute Carnage? Or can you just go in cold turkey? As they say. Is that, is that what they say? They say cold turkey? I think they do. Um, 
you can honestly read the Venom by Donny Cates as a pretty good way to catch up. It does a really good way of reintroducing a lot of these mythos and a lot of these characters that have appeared throughout the miniseries of Venoms in the past. I know, there's been several, but he does a really good job of just tying everything in and then creating a whole new lore. Uh, the other book I was going to suggest is, of course, Maximum Carnage, just so you can get to know some of these characters, and Red Goblin. And it's so difficult to do this without spoilers, but I think that's all I can say. Always love the symbiote. And yes, by now, Donny Cates has introduced this new character that's running around with Eddie Brock. Not going to reveal who that is. But said character has his own little symbiote known as Sleeper. Adorable. There are characters in here that I did not expect to show up. And I think that's all I can say about that. So let's talk about what are the contents of this book. What is collected in here? So you have the Absolute Carnage Free Comic Book Day. You have the five-issue miniseries. You have Venom 16 through 20. That's the new series by Donny Cates. You have Amazing Spider-Man 29 through 31. That is the Nick Spencer and Rick Otley series. Here's issues of Venom right here. And here's issues of Amazing Spider-Man by Ryan Otley. Then you have Miles Morales. So it does contain the Miles Morales miniseries. It's a three-issue miniseries. You have Absolute Carnage vs. Deadpool, also three issues, the Captain Marvel one-shot, the Symbiote Spider-Man one-shot Absolute Carnage, which is written by Peter David, Symbiote of Vengeance one-shot, Lethal Protectors, another three-issue miniseries that introduces us to a new character, or a, I guess a resurrected character. Like I said, it's I think it's pretty important to read Maximum Carnage to fully enjoy all of this. There's a Weapon Plus one-shot, the Scream 3-issue miniseries, Separation Anxiety, and then the Immortal Hulk one-shot. All of that collected within these pages here. And let's look a little more at the artwork without giving anything away, and then we'll look at the extras and talk about the build of the book. This is the Weapon Plus one-shot right here. And then the Immortal Hulk one-shot. This is written by Al Ewing. Because there is a character from Hulk... That has merged with the symbiote in the past. And just showing off different series. Here's the Captain Marvel one-shot. And I keep going back to Lethal Protectors because I think it was one of my most favorite underrated series that nobody really talked about. Demogoblin. Oh, so good. All right, let's look at these extras. Gotta censor this page to talk about this page right here. This is an afterwards by the editor Devin Lewis and the idea of how all of this came together because of Donny Cates and then how they set up throughout the Marvel Universe absolute carnage so at the end of each monthly series from june and july of 2019 the issues ended with just a one page little uh cliffhanger or tie-in to absolute carnage so in the pages of deadpool you had this scene in the pages of immortal hulk the pages of avengers and so on and i can't show much more of that because it reveals a spoiler then we have this oh this is so awesome this is the ravencroft institute for the criminally insane this is the actual application you fill in but my favorite thing about this is this is we're looking at cletus cassidy alias carnage is the date of birth which makes me feel old but that's okay so his date of birth is april 7th 1993 and the patient number is asm 010361 of course that is amazing spider-man volume 1 361 which is the first appearance of carnage and i think they do this with another character yeah norman osborne Right here, 07-2264, Amazing Spider-Man number 14, and so on. Let's look at the covers. By the way, I didn't do this, but in between the chapters, there are other variant covers there. So not all the variant covers are in the back. They are scattered throughout the book. Um, so you, some have full pages. Like, oh my gosh, I love that cover. Like these, I think we gave away some for a contest that we had. And then we have the smaller scale variant covers. Because they were a ton. I'm glad they kept that one full page. Because I love Aaron Cooter's artwork. And that character has really grown on me. Then the toy covers. The splash page covers here. From Kyle Holtz. And I think there's even... Didn't Rob Liefeld do... Cover? Okay, here's the... All three connecting covers of the Miles Morales miniseries. The Scream by Mike Alred and Laura Alred. That's Mark Bagley for sure, who had a couple of pages within this omnibus, by the way. But I'm going to leave that for you all to find out. There's definitely Lethal Protectors right here. Come on, who doesn't want to see Cloak and Dagger? This is like a reunion of Maximum Carnage characters. Then you add in Iron Fist. Oh, 
and Misty Knight. There's the Rob Liefeld. Yeah, Deadpool versus Carnage. Making sure none of these are spoilers. I think we're good. And then we have, of course, character designs and sketches. 880 pages retelling at $100. Let's talk about the build. So as you could probably tell as I was flipping through there, it is sewn binding. And there's that eye you want to see. So there's no gutter loss like that. I love when books lay down like that. It makes for a great reading experience. We are 14 pages in. See what I mean? No gutter loss. So to clarify how the book is mapped out, you have the five issue miniseries of Absolute Carnage towards the beginning, followed by Venom 16 through 20, and then Amazing Spider-Man, and then all the miniseries and one shots. And the very last thing is that editor's note, followed by the Stinger pages, which the Stinger pages come from Venom number 15 or Black Cat number two or Fantastic Four number 11, just to name a few. But that's just laying it out again for those of you wondering how the book is mapped out. Now, the paper quality, it might be because I just finished reading my Spider-Man vs. Venom uh, omnibus. It seems just a tiny bit thinner than that. I'm not sure. It could be just my mind playing tricks on me. But, I mean, that's about it. And before I wrap up this overview, I did want to showcase again the amazing artwork of Ryan Stegman, J.P. Mayer, who does the inks, and these amazing colors by Frank Martin that just sets the tone of the entire event. Love, I love the, the this just red tint that's all over the place. And this particular red tone is not just throughout the five-issue miniseries. It can be found throughout the entire event. Of course, it's going to have to be when you're talking about a character like Carnage, this red serial killer. That, as they say, is that. Now, that was the page count, the content, and the build of the book. Let me know in those comments down below if you're planning to pick this up, if you read it in single issues, if you read it in trade paperback, or if you've been waiting for this omnibus. And let me know how excited you are that all of this is leading into The King in Black. Leave all those comments down below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. And more importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.